What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new collaboration between Game of Thrones and Adidas, the Ultra Boost House of Targaryen Dragons. First off, huge shout out to Tommy for recommending the good people over at the Cedar Brook Plaza Foot Locker. I had no idea that they were even getting these in. He let me know. The people over there really helped me out, so shout out to everybody involved. And because of that, I'm able to bring you guys a review today rather than have to wait for a pair to come in the mail, which I'm stoked about because I was really excited about these shoes and they're fire in hand. <sighs> Literally. This Game of Thrones Ultra Boost pack has been rumored for months and the release date kept getting pushed back farther and farther and farther to a point where I wasn't even sure if the shoes were actually going to release. Literally, I'd featured these shoes in three different Sitter Cell videos because they kept getting pushed back. But now the time is here and we have all six of the Game of Thrones Ultra Boosts and I think everyone's favorite is the House of Targaryen Dragons. This is the only colorway out of the pack with a crazy prime knit design. All the other colorways have one color or two color uppers and in my opinion, that's kind of dull. So out of all the colorways that dropped, I had to pick up this one and honestly, I'm not disappointed. Starting off with the upper of the shoe, as you would expect, you have a full prime knit upper. This time around though, the knit pattern is pretty different than what you're used to. Obviously, it's very colorful. You've got tons of yellows and oranges and reds all woven together to sort of symbolize dragon's breath or fire, as you would expect from the name. One thing that kind of surprised me though, when I first saw the shoe in hand earlier today, based on the images that I saw online, I thought the prime knit would be primarily red, so you'd get sort of a red vibe when you're looking at the shoe from a distance, but when you get it in hand, it's a lot more like neon orange than I expected. The actual knit pattern itself and the placement of the ventilation holes is similar to an Ultra Boost 1.0, but different. It's got the same sort of arrow shaped pattern and the actual feel of the knit is just like an Ultra Boost 1.0, except when you look at the rest of the sneaker, you see that the entire upper is prime knit unlike the 1.0. As you continue up the shoe, you start to have these specks of black in the prime knit. And as you continue even farther up the shoe, up the tongue, the prime knit starts to turn completely to black. You still have these flecks of yellow, orange, and red to sort of symbolize, I guess, the embers coming off the fire. Is that what they're called? Like flecks of fire? I don't... Above the tongue, you've got these black flat laces that weave through a midfoot cage in the center of the shoe. The midfoot cage is one of my favorite parts on this shoe because they didn't skimp. They decided to go premium with it and make it black leather. In my opinion, that just bumps up the overall quality of the shoe and really makes it stand out. At the top of the tongue, you have another leather accent. This time around though, the treatment of the leather is different. They actually painted the leather black and then cracked it so you can see through to the red leather underneath. It gives the leather this really cool aged look and I absolutely love that detail and I kind of wish they had done that on more places on the shoe. On the front of the tab, you've got Adidas's logo debossed into the leather. And then on the back of the tab, you've got what I would assume is the House of Targaryen Dragons logo uh, printed in red. I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I, I don't know. Inside the sneaker, you've got your standard Ultra Boost sock liner in black. And then rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got this insole in gray with the words Game of Thrones printed in red. You've also got some logos and emblems, but again, I, I have no idea what they mean. As for fit, the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost House of Targaryen Dragons fits just like every other Ultra Boost. For me, that's true to size. For you, it might be something different. As I always suggest, if you have a chance to try the shoe on first before you buy it, make sure to do that to make sure the sizing is right for you. Continuing even farther back on the shoe around the ankle you have this thick black prime knit. Just below that you've got your textured heel counter in black with the words Ultra Boost embossed in gloss black. Moving around to the back of the sneaker you've got a feature that's unique to the Game of Thrones collaboration and that's this red fabric tab. Obviously each tab and color is unique to each shoe in the collection. This particular tab says fire and blood and comes in bright red. Then moving down on the sneaker you've got your full length boost midsole in black which feels incredible underfoot if you haven't tried it yet. And then finally moving to the bottom of the sneaker you've got your black Continental stretch web outsole. Overall, the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost House of Targaryen Dragons is by far my favorite from the collection. All the other shoes in the collection aren't bad, but probably not sneakers that I would pick up. That's honestly probably because I don't watch the show and none of those shoes really have any meaning for me, but this particular one looks so cool and I love just the fire effect and I get that it's something to do with dragons and Targaryens and stuff like that, but again, 
Kind of goes over my head. I don't really know what it is. I bought this shoe because it looks cool and Ultra Boosts are incredibly comfortable. That's pretty much it. But that pretty much wraps up the review for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on this collaboration and which one of the colorways you like best. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.